The overall goal of this procedure is to fabricate photoactive nanocrystals and nanocrystal films. This is accomplished by first fabricating the zinc selenide electron donor component. The second step is to overgrow zinc selenide with the cadmium sulfide electron acceptor component. Next, the metal catalyst is deposited onto the grown zinc selenide cadmium sulfide donor acceptor nanoparticle. The synthesis of photoactive films of semiconductor nanocrystals comprising lead sulfide nanocrystal arrays embedded into a cadmium sulfide matrix is then demonstrated. Ultimately, the photoactivity of both isolated zinc selenide cadmium sulfide platinum nanocrystals and lead sulfide cadmium sulfide films is demonstrated. So the main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that it allows for direct all inorganic coupling of the light absorber and the catalyst. We believe this method can contribute to the ongoing research in the field of photocatalysis. Though fabricated materials were designed primarily for hydrogen production, they can also be applied for other catalytic functions, such as reduction of organic pollutants or water splitting. Our nanoparticles are designed to facilitate fast conversion of absorbed solar light into a usable chemical or electrical energy. Consequently, the implications of this technique extend toward the development of both photocatalytic and photovoltaic materials. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the difficulty synthesizing these structures. To begin synthesis, place ODA into a three-neck flask with a magnetic stir bar. In a separate